Right, now we've eaten. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. As you will have seen, we're in Italy. I thought I'd come and chat to you now. I've actually kicked her out. I'm gonna shower, done my hair, and I thought we could get ready together, and I'll tell you what's been happening. So, uh, we're gonna do our eyebrows first tell you all about it. I'm actually using this um, Studio London one at the moment. It's the only thing that will keep my brows up. Uh, I'm having a really hard time with that. I think I should probably just get them laminated um, and maybe the products will help them stay up. So, first and foremost, getting here was an absolute nightmare. We stayed in Post Postido? Postiano? Postiano. And it's like maybe two hours away from Naples airport. I was having a look at all the reviews and stuff on how to get here and apparently it'd be like 150 euros to get a taxi just to here so it was like we're not doing that that's way too expensive. So the other option is to get like a train and then like a bus here. Oh my god. So we get slack from the airport and there's all these people that like try and like poach you to get either like in a taxi or in like a shared coach but we were speaking to somebody before we got here and apparently they tell you like one price while you're there and then it's like a different price when you arrive and then like you have to pay it so we didn't want to do that so we got a bus to Naples City Centre and then we got the train from Naples to Sorrento now it's not the nicest experience but we made it. There were some very nice views like on the way. So on the way, we went past Mount Vesuvius, which was just incredible. I'm a little bit of a, a geek. Like, I always wanted to go and visit from when I was at school and we were like, learning about it. So that was that was really cool. And I'll, I'll put some footage in here for you to see. But then that was, maybe that was like, an hour, an hour and a half maybe. And then, and then what did we do? So we got the train and then we got, oh my gosh, right, then we got the bus. And because uh, obviously like the Amalfi Coast is like on a cliff and there's pretty much just like one road in and one road out. Listen, the day before we got here was my nan's funeral. And so I'd had a bit to drink and we hadn't eaten much either and going round sharp bends and then stopping and then going again for literally about two hours was I wouldn't recommend it. It was it was not the one. It was not the one at all. But we made it. Just going in with this um MUA Pro base. It's an illuminating base formulated with rose extract, vitamin E and niacinamide, which is very nice, very nice and Glowy. We've not actually eaten yet, as you would have seen it, I would have I've actually brought uh, vegan croissants from home just to make sure that I can actually eat while I'm here. Um so we're gonna go for breakfast and some coffee. So just kind of just make ourselves look a little bit more alive, you know. But yeah, the journey here was mental. Last night we tried to find a pizza place, so that's another thing about around here. So I think all the vegan cafes and stuff are all like Sorrento way, which is like maybe like an hour away. Um, there's a place that I found online called, I think it's called Frankie's Bar, and they do, they do a vegan ham and cheese pizza, which I really want to go and get, but again, it's it's quite a while away so we'll see if we can we can fit that in i think we're just going to have a little bit more of a wander around today like wander around the area because it's so nice we couldn't see or we didn't get really to see most of it yesterday i'm just going in with the barium the barium fresh face concealer um this is actually really nice you know just to wear on holiday just as a little to cover all the redness up so last night we got we got pizza and I just ended up having to get a pizza without cheese which 
it's not ideal but it's not the worst thing either so it's actually quite nice um, which is a shame it didn't have cheese on it um, but it's in a really nice place and the the backdrop was like the whole of like the what you can see from our balcony as well so it was it was really nice it was a really nice restaurant um I would definitely recommend going there and then the really weird thing was yeah so my nan's just passed and um she was called margaret and then we got there and we like the in the menu the margarita pizza is called the margaret and that's all my nan used to get as well was just a margarita pizza so um that was really bizarre but like really cute at the same time so that was really nice in terms of where we're going for tea and stuff i really like i, I don't know like i said most of the restaurants that I had found online, they're nowhere near here. So I'm not too sure about that. Let's go in with some contour and get some colour on my face. I'm hoping to catch this in a little bit. But we'll be using SPF. I put that on earlier actually, so I don't know how comfortable I feel vlogging in public because I did it yesterday at the at the restaurant but even all the waiters they were all like what is she doing um but it's okay because I feel like I'm not going to see any of these people again so it's not it's not too bad but it is still a bit it's a bit weird I'm go in with one of the with the Studio London cream blusher and it's in the shade Empower, so it's like an orangey colour, which is, it's really, it's really pretty. Um, and it's actually my birthday tomorrow, which is so bizarre. It doesn't feel like it's my birthday tomorrow at all, just with, you know, the crazy time that's been going on. But it is. And we were deciding whether to go to tomorrow where it's like chilled and relaxed it'll just be like really nice or whether to go to Pompeii because obviously I've always wanted to go but I think because Pompeii's in Naples and it's a bit of a trek I think we'll just go to Capri tomorrow and then go to Naples on like Monday or something maybe but that's the plan anyway we're looking more and more alive a couple of things that I did forget I forgot eyelash curlers I forgot tweezers which I went to go and buy yesterday 11 euros for tweezers I also forgot to bring like some mini scissors you know, for eyelashes I bought eyelashes specially and after paying 11 euros for tweezers I was not then paying another 11 euros for some little scissors so we're just gonna have to make do with that in fact let's put the tweezers to the test shall we so I got these eyelashes just off Amazon um, and they're just like half flash ones, so I don't actually need to cut these. These are the cute little new tweezers that we have. And then I'm using the Duo Quick Set uh, Eyelash Glue, which I've been told by Ardell that they are vegan. So let's try and put these on. I also actually brought, so I wasn't without chocolate, is I brought chocolates with me too. Um, and I'll go and show you what chocolates they are in a sec after I put these on but if you can guess down below which chocolates are I brought bonus brownie points here we go perfect just going to zoom you in while we do my eyebrows because I've just been using this ultra brow from Barry M and it's so good so just to fill in my brows I'll just show you the chockies that I've got. 
I obviously bought these. I got these in TK Maxx. Obviously. Another little rod jockey. We're going to go out for some coffee and some breakfast now, so I will catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> no vegan options again. Huh? No vegan options again. The hunt continues. I just realised I have um, not taken the tag off my shorts. Are we tag free? Kurt did for me this morning. I'll just I'll take you around now. So I came out and got like these cute balloons. And look, I mean this is I'm pretty sure I've shown you a view from our balcony already, but how cute is this? And then we had like a little confetti thing go off. But I mean it's just it's just been incredible. So the, like I said yesterday, the vegan options are not actually great here. So what we're going to do today is go to Sorrento because I think that's where there's a vegan restaurant where you can get vegan ham and vegan cheese on a pizza. So we're going to go and do that <clears throat> and I will take you along with me. But uh, yeah, that's a little update from me this morning. It's absolutely glorious and yeah i just i don't want to come home i think the only reason that i do want to come home is tea i miss i miss my cup of teas and food cheese on pizza really there's there's no vegan cheese around here um we did find actually a cute little vegan cafe and it's not there somewhere um but again the the prices here are pretty steep and it was more like a like a salad bowl, um, which you know, each to their own. But when I'm on holiday, I don't really I don't really want to pay 25 euros for a salad. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that. But um, yeah, I'll take you along with us today. <laughs> Of options so because we had like such a big pizza earlier I'm still not quite I'm not like that hungry yet um, but the pizza was delicious as you would have seen um, so a couple of options we're either gonna go up and I think there's a sushi place and I think there's like a few 
vegan options or I'll actually show you there's this rest, um, there's this hotel that's like dead fancy a little further up and it looks really really nice the restaurant I'll show you I don't know if I can if I can zoom you in but it's just over there in that red one it's as far as I can zoom in but it looks really really fancy and I don't know if I've shown you this yet already but I'm gonna um I'm gonna pop in a, a clip from my phone uh well from Kurt's phone because he recorded it he did he was said cute this morning um so we did that but what I wanted to come on here for to tell you all is because obviously you know that um I'm dealing with the grief of my nan at the moment and I just I just came back and I was just like I just want to like talk to her I just want to like tell her how my day's going and chat and you know she'll wish me happy birthday I actually have this voicemail um, from her I think a good couple of years ago now and she was singing happy birthday and I think I just, like, I'm gonna share it with you all so um, it's from like a couple of years ago I've already listened to it now she sounds so cute um, happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Like it still doesn't seem real because I can still like hear a voice when I want to. Um, it's still not sunk in yet, but the the voicemails are definitely like helping and all the pictures and stuff. So that's helping. So that's that's how I'm doing with that at the moment. But also when we came into the room, I'll show you this as well on a happier note. Look what we came into. So they've got like happy birthday and they've got some like Prosecco, which I'm not too sure if it's vegan friendly or not. I'll have to double check. Um, but it was so sweet. Honestly, I could not recommend this place enough. They've been so, so lovely. Um, and then I thought this was cute as well. They put the hat on it, early. Sorrento was lovely. So many more vegan options in Sorrento than there is here in Pastano. Um, so definitely recommend that. Obviously, I recommend here for the view because the view is incredible but uh, definitely Sorrento for vegan options. I'm going into Naples tomorrow and having a look at Pompeii because I have wanted to go to Pompeii since I was like 14 so very excited to go there um, but yeah, I just I'm just never gonna get enough of this view and um, I just want to stay here forever and ever and ever and ever um, but yeah I'll leave you with a view. yesterday um just because we went into Pompeii and we didn't actually eat much yesterday either but we went to Frankie's bar again and I got the vegan burger which was delicious <laughs> we went to the shop this morning and vegan sweets They're just very like jelly with lots of sugar. So yeah, yesterday we went to the ruins of Pompeii, and there is quite a few vegan like bakeries and pastries and stuff. But the train that we got, it didn't stop actually in Pompeii. It was like just outside, so we didn't manage to go there unfortunately. I think today we're going to Amalfi, and as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's many vegan options there either but if there is I will take you along and I will show you and I will let you know but yeah this morning we went to the shop and we had breakfast on the balcony which was really nice and um, we just got some like local 
strawberries, pears, a massive loaf of fresh bread which was delicious. We bought some strawberry jam. As you've seen I've brought croissants with me so we have croissants as well and banana and I think that's it but it was delicious but we're gonna go out for coffee soon so I'll take you then. Bogey on your nose. No, I have not. I'm joking. Don't do that. This vegan croissant. And it was only down the road from our hotel. And I can't believe we've only just found out like the day before we leave. Seven. Got. What was this one? A raspberry and what? I'm sure it's like elderflower or something. Let's try. It's like like a raspberry jam inside. It's delicious. It's actually very similar to. Um, do you remember that one that we had in Cafe Nero, and it's got like. Raspberry in the middle. It's mm -hmm. quite similar to that. It's very nice. We're just waiting for the bus into Sorrento and then we've got to get to train into from Sorrento to Naples. It's gonna be about three hour journey. Did it did they taste like good enough to miss a bus for? They do actually, yeah. Good. Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> Um, it's our last day, it's Tuesday evening now, I think it's about 7 o'clock. Um, we went into Naples and I didn't vlog at all, just because I didn't dare get my camera out to be completely honest. Um, it was rough, uh, to say the least, so we didn't stay there very long. There seemed to be more vegan options in Naples but they're more like takeaway places so no way you can really sit in and eat so we literally got there I think we just had some chips and a drink and then got the train back which is such a shame because it was like a three hour journey train back to Sorrento ate there we went back to Frankie's bar with a really good vegan pizza and we got some I think it was like vegan fish fingers as well which with it they were really good too because it's our last day um, I think we need to pack and we're actually going to go back to that sushi place because I'm really craving one of those bao buns again because they were so so good so I want another one of them before we leave um, and before we leave as well I got the the ladies that own the hotel Pop you in there. there we go yes I've got two cardigans on because it's chilly but if we do that, then it doesn't look like we've got two on. It just looks like we've got one. Um, how cute are these? So we got these for the owners here at the at the hotel, just because they've been so so nice and they with the little birthday messages and they gave us like a glass of prosecco and stuff for my birthday. Um, they've been so helpful and they've just been so lovely so we just thought we'd get them some flowers and I bought a postcard as well which I'm just going to write like thank you for making our stay so nice and stuff and leave that here for them but <clears throat> I think I am kind of ready to come back home now although I'm going to miss the view uh, for, for food and I'm, I'm dying for a good cup of tea and a good tofu dish at home as well which I think for my 
next video we'll cook my favourite tofu dish together. Um, so we'll do that, maybe get changed, just like freshen up and then go just for some of those uh, veil buns at the sushi place and then come home and pack because I think we've got to leave, I think we've got to get up at like 6am and the bus is at like 7am uh, so then get, then we've got to do the whole trip again, so the whole three hour trip again well, and then I actually think there's another bus to the airport from Naples train station so it's a long day, so it was six hours worth of travelling today guys and uh, how many steps have we done today? Twelve and a half thousand steps so not bad when we went to Pompeii we actually did nearly like 20,000 steps which was which was mad we can't like I said we kind of got lost there so in terms of like vegan food I think if it's somewhere nice to eat Positano definitely the best um, although there's not many vegan cheese options actually no scrap that Sorrento is best for vegan food options because you've got Frankie's bar and there's a couple of other places as well that do like vegan cheese on sandwiches and stuff which I found on the Happy Cow app um, we just didn't eat there just fancy just you know good old pizza and some pasta but the places are very accommodating so if you are going to stay in Positano you probably either that there's a sushi place or the cafe that's a little just bit, uh, further up apart from that there's a pizza a marinara, Mari Mar Mariana, Mariana, uh, with no cheese, and um, so you can get that pretty much anywhere. Um, but other than that, if you're wanting like vegan alternatives with that like, cheese and stuff, then Sorrento is probably your best bet. All in all, great holiday. I had a lovely time. Like I said, I'm just going to be really sad to. I'm going to miss that view. That view is just. It's just amazing. It doesn't look that great right now because it's dark and cloudy. But yeah. I hope this vlog has been okay and it's not too higgledy piggledy with not being able to vlog everywhere but I hope you enjoyed it and just in case I don't vlog much tomorrow thank you so so much for watching this far if you have um, thank you for coming with me and I will see you in the next one I hope <laughs> bye